Hey my friends, welcome back to another episode of the Euro Cooking Canuck. Guys, check out this amazing hat that my mom brought back for me from Canada. She had it made. If you're interested in one of these awesome caps, do let me know in the comments below. Guys, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me once again. On this segment of Memories of Macedonia, we're going to be making something called Ponetti Tikvichki. And basically what that is is a stuffed courgette or a uh, zucchini. Guys, you can keep this completely vegetarian and I'll get more into that when we start cooking. So without further ado, let's get in the kitchen and make these amazing Macedonian stuffed zucchini. Aye. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen countertop as usual and as usual all of the amounts and ingredients will be below click on show more so guys what I have here are some courgettes uh, I could have got some better ones but this was all that the store had um, I'm using the light green variegated type if uh, you can find these use these if not the dark green will work just as well so what I'm going to want to do is you're going to want to um, cut these in half now I'm just going to cut very very little on the end and I'm going to take the stem part off okay now as you can see this is sitting nicely on this side so I want them to sit on this side so I'm going to cut them in half, straight down, so they sit nicely on that side. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and scoop out some of the filling in the middle. So just use your paring knife gently. You want to leave um, some flesh obviously on the sides and on the bottom because um, if you don't then it'll fall apart on you. Then use a small spoon and scoop out the meat. And then you can hollow them out like so. If you have a bit too much, you can carve that away. So we're making like little boats, guys. You've seen this before, I'm sure. So I'm not going to bore you with all of them. But go ahead and continue in this fashion with all of your zucchini. And I'll bring you back when that's all done. Okay, guys. My courgettes are all scooped out into like little canoes. And what we're going to do is we're going to just go over them a little bit. And the great thing about zucchini or courgettes, guys, is that they're completely edible raw. Mmm, good. So I'm just going to put these aside in my casserole dish for now. My well-loved and well-used casserole dish. And what we're going to do is all of the meat or the insides we're going to continue to cut that up because that's going to be part of our stuffing now it doesn't have to be all precise and it will shrink down a bit in cooking and I'll show you what I mean so go ahead and dice up or cut up all of your courgette meat or insides. All right guys, as you can see, I've chopped up my courgette and what I have here is a large onion. You can use a medium, I might just use half of this. So we're gonna go ahead and finally dice our onion. And then you're also gonna to wanna to go ahead and mince some garlic. So I'll bring you back when this is all done. Alright guys, I've mixed my onion and I've mixed up some garlic. Next thing is optional. You can put in a hot pepper or a sweet pepper. It's up to you. I'm going to use a hot pepper because you guys know I love the heat. Now you can take the seeds and the ribs out um, if you don't want too much heat. 
But you know me guys, I love the heat. So I'm going to leave them all in. And just finely mince your pepper as well. Now, you can also, if you want, add some mushroom to this. However, we're going to be adding some meat, and I'm going to get more into that in a moment um, with your vegetarian options. So I'm going to go ahead and finish mincing my pepper, and I'll bring you back. All right, guys, now here's the meat element. As I was saying before, you can keep this completely vegetarian if you want. All you need to do is omit the meat and add uh, mushrooms to this. Now, what I have here is called a vrat. This is a smoked pork neck or collar. Um, it smells much like bacon. Um, it is smoked. And this vrat, or smoked neck or collar, is completely cooked and it is um, edible now, even though it does kind of look a bit raw. Mmm, it's lovely. Mmm, great smoky flavor. I also have here um, a slab of ham, or we call shumka, and this again is optional. Um, but again, this is cooked ham. Mmm, and it's lovely. It's not as smoked, so you have a contrast. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut our vrat and ham into pieces. And then I'll bring you back when everything is all chopped up. Okay guys, so everything is all chopped up. Our ham, our smoked pork neck or collar, our peppers, garlic, onion, and the courgettes. I'm going to show you what to do next. Alright guys, in my pan here I have some vegetable oil which I'm going to heat until it's quite hot. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is add all of our elements at once. So the onions, the garlic, the peppers, the zucchini pieces, and all of your meat are going to go in at once. If you are doing the vegetarian option with the mushrooms, you might just want to hold back on them a few minutes back. However, I'm going to go ahead and also add all of the meat. And I'm going to use my big old paws here, otherwise I know things will go flying. <laughs> so everything goes into the pan. And we're going to give this a good stir. And keep an eye on it. And we're going to cook this for about five minutes or so until the vegetables start softening. And then I'll bring you back and show you what I do next. So guys, what I've gone ahead and done is I've added some chopped grape tomatoes. Now, if you have grape or cherry tomatoes, please use those. They're fantastic and they're sweet. If not, just use a regular tomato. I've also seasoned this with a bit of salt, cracked black pepper, and optionally you can put in some hot chili flakes, which of course I've gone ahead and done. Um, they're from the Kobo region. So now what I'm going to do is let this simmer. I've also added just a bit of the ghetto, and go easy on that guys, it is salty, and you can find that at any grocery store nowadays, check the international aisle. So I'm gonna let this simmer very low until a lot of the um, liquid has been evaporated and then I'll bring you back. So guys, the filling has set for a bit, it's cooled off, a lot of the liquid has come out and what I've gone ahead and done is I've started to stuff my tikvichki or my courgettes. So be generous with the toppings. Don't be skimpy. Pile it on there. And if you do have any leftover topping, um, you, you know, the possibilities are endless. You can stuff more courgettes in the future. This mixture freezes really well. You can stuff peppers, tomatoes. It's really up to you. So I'm going to continue stuffing these 
courgettes. I'm almost used up all my filling actually. I might have a bit left over. <coughs> Which can also be um, served on some crusty bread. Why not? Like I said, possibilities are endless, guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover these courgettes in some tin foil and I'm going to place them in the oven and we're going to bake these for about 15 to 20 minutes by 200 C. Don't forget, everything is pretty much cooked. So we just want to get the courgettes softened a bit and I'll bring you back when that happens. As you can see guys, I don't have much filling left. Um, I really piled and packed these on. You should too. So I'm just going to wrap this, as I said, in tin foil. I'm going to pop this in the oven for about 15 minutes. When that's done, I'm going to take it out and show you one last element. All right, gang. Our courgettes are out of the oven and the courgettes are actually quite soft. Okay, so they're cooked. And like I said earlier, you can eat these raw, so they can be a bit al dente. And don't forget, our filling was already pretty much cooked. So what I'm gonna do now, oh yes, I'm gonna up the ante. And what we're gonna do is we're going to shred some cascabel cheese on top. Now, again, if you don't have cascabel, mozzarella will work or any goat cheese milk uh, sorry goat and cow mixture cheese will work um, you can even use all goat it, now Tashkabel cheese is quite nutty and guys I've used it in many 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 of my recipes so do look for it go to an Eastern European deli or supermarket, um, Turkish even, Bulgarian, of course Macedonian. Um, the best seem to come from the Macedonian region and um, Bulgarian is not too bad either guys. But try and use Kashkabel if you can. It's more the authentic flavor on this recipe. How much you put? Up to you. I know how much I have here in my cube, but uh, like I said, it's really, really up to you. So I probably won't give you an exact amount. Um, it's again, to your taste. So, <laughs> my, Courgettes are loaded with some beautiful mm, Kashkabel cheese. I'm going to pop this back in the oven just until the cheese melts and I'll bring you right back. Guys, our Polnetti Tikvichki is out of the oven. Look at that beautiful melted cheese with that crispy topping. I'm going to let this cool for a bit. Let's plate it up. Hey guys, our Polnetti Tikvichki is all done and plated. What I've gone ahead and done is I put it on a bed of solilio. And this is an old school traditional Maltese sauce. And if you want to see how I make that, stay tuned for a video. I've just garnished with some fresh basil and the aromas in here guys incredible all that stuff to do is to tuck in so oh i can feel that the zucchini is soft all the ingredients inside are lovely and cooked I have a bit of the sauce on the bottom let's taste this Mm. Oh my goodness. I need more. 
the fox and cheese. <laughs> Wow. That sauce really accompanies this. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please share. Comment. I love all your comments. If you haven't subscribed and you want to, I love it. Give me a thumbs up. There'll be a few pics to follow. And we'll see you next time on Memories of Macedonia here on the Euro Queen Canuck. Few pics to follow. As usual, until next time, mm. ciao guys. <laughs>